Thank you for watching Healthy Power TV with Dr. Josefina and I'm Laura Gutridge. Today's topic, we're talking um, about change and how change is, is good at any age. Yes. And I was thinking about change and we always are going through change and when we're younger, Change is so constant in our lives, especially when we're younger, I think. Yes. Every day is just so different. And we just accept it when we're younger because mm -hmm. that's such a big part of our life. But as we age, change becomes more and more difficult for us to accept. And I think it's because we, as we age, we become very set in our ways. Uh-huh. And then we are, we are fighting against the change. Uh-huh. So I, I have my own little saying. It, 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 it's, I, I look at change as the tragedy that leads to the, cur the cure. Because <laughs> at first it seems like, oh my God, it is such a tragedy, this change. But at the end, it usually is beneficial. I was, yeah, you are in the right show. <laughs> <laughs> the tragedy of change. That's her way, not my way. Yeah. <laughs> yes. My way is the success of change. Yes. So why, why, why did you see it as tragic? I'm curious now. now you well, sometimes change does seem very tragic because, like I said, when we are set in our ways and routine. Okay, let's talk about set in your ways. What, so what benefit will it bring to anybody be set on their way? Don't you think that's aging faster? I think it does make time go by faster for you when you, you know, every day you have the same routine. But then sometimes, you know, routine, I think, can be good because oh, it, is great. it seems like when the routine is like thrown off kilter, that's when mistakes can be made. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to learn to adapt because nothing is always going to stay, you know, on the same track. 24-7. Okay, so what, what change are you talking about? You're talking about like a personal change, well, like aging, like all that, or you're talking about events, like something happens in your life okay. and you have to adjust. I'll think of an example, say like a divorce. Uh -huh. So that could be a terrible thing for or a lot. Or it can be a great thing. Right, or it could be, you know, the bad. It depends. Yes. <laughs> So we just have to, you know, learn to, you know, like you said, think positively and take, you know, the time to realize the opportunity and the change mm -hmm. that is lying ahead of us. Yes. At the moment, it seems tragic and terrible, but but that's you, why you have to watch Dr. Josefina's yes. way because we help you to make it. Yes, and you actually um, have steps. Yes, let's know. do it. Okay, the first one, begin. Um, with small small steps to being in the right direction of making positive change. Yes. So that is that. Are you referring to that uh, when you are instigating your own change? Because sometimes the change just happens and it's out of our hands, like yes. say at the death of a loved one or yes. whatever. But when we're trying to make changes to better our lives, is that yes. what you're referring to? That's what I'm focusing always mm -hmm. in the personal change because the only thing I can control and the only thing I can change mm -hmm. is my own thinking. That's all my right. mind. Right. So I cannot control Laura. I cannot control my clients. I cannot. Mm -hmm. So it's all that I talk about is a personal thing. The changes that are good for you, that will benefit you, that will enhance your life, that will bring you better success, okay. better result. You feel like you every single day you are accomplishing greater things. Not because you are achieving like material things, but you as a person, you feel that you're growing, you're becoming, you're changing. Mm -hmm. You're better today than you were yesterday. And you know in your heart that tomorrow you will be better than today. If you're in a job that you don't like, like you feel like you're in a rut, and yes. it's time to get out of the job, get a new job, fresh start. Yes. Yes, because if you are miserable mm -hmm. spending eight or ten hours doing something that you hate, there's something wrong with that picture. Right. Because I believe, Laura, that you were no born to suffer. You, you were no born to be miserable. Right. You were born with talents, skills, ability, mission, purpose, power. What happened is we get lazy and we don't want to make the change. Right. And right. of course, to make the change, you have to put energy into it. Oh, yes. You have to have discipline. That's mm -hmm. when you're talking about the routine. And it's the, also a risk you're taking. Definitely. And we're all afraid of risk. Exactly. But the greatest risk the greatest magic show that mm -hmm. you can watch is your own personal transformation. Yes, yes. There's nothing like that. Nothing risked, nothing gained. Absolutely. Um, 
so that kind of goes in with you know accepting the change the change is a reality yes so we you know nothing ever stays the same that's not possible everything the world is changing we are changing and you're right we have to just accept it there are things there, there are changes in our future that we're anticipating now that you know, you, you think, oh, gosh, you, you're dreading, mm -hmm. dreading it. Mm -hmm. But we have to just accept it as a reality. Well, and if you take the time to look back mm -hmm. into your own life, every time that a big thing happened, a big change happened, always it was for your own good. Another thing with the change is that when I talk in, in the lesson, it's about having that spiritual life. Right. You know, because... If you don't have something bigger and greater than self to hold you up, then you're really going to be afraid of change. Oh yes, and I think the the meditation and you know self reflection yes. that comes along Absolutely. with spirituality yeah. does assist us. Yeah, because it, you know if it doesn't do anything, you don't want to believe in anything. It it will do you just good to look back into your own life and mm -hmm. see how great you did. Right. You know, so just that. That's phenomenal because it gives you the confidence to move on, to continue, to have faith, to trust, to, to do what you want to do with your life. I, 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 go ahead. Well, I think my belief in karma actually helps me to be a, a better person even when nobody is watching. Absolutely. Because in my belief system, I think that, you know, the karma is being seen no matter what exactly it, it's being registered it's so. energy yes you know it's in one of the show we're going to be talking about toxic energy and mm -hmm. positive positive energy yeah and that's exactly right because having doing the wrong things and having the wrong thought and that creates that energy mm -hmm. and the creation and the good stuff bad karma yes but you want positive good karma yes, like exactly good karma <laughs> I love good karma. <laughs> um, so that was, oh, oh, the third thing. Yes. What is, ask yourself, what is the worst case scenario? Well, it's not mm -hmm. going to kill us. Mm -hmm. So we can get through it. Let's see it as an adventure. Yes. Well, that's what I used before I came to this country. I would ask myself, you know, I didn't speak English. I didn't know a, a person in this country. I didn't have the money. And I would ask myself, what is the worst case scenario is going to happen to me? And you know what? The worst case scenario never happened. Yes. Never. <laughs> well, what's the, what's the old saying? Um, prepare for the worst and expect the best. The best. Absolutely. Yes. And we, that's what we do here. Okay. The fourth one, correct your actions and behaviors to uh, the new situation. Yes. You know, it's an adaptation. Yes. You know, and, and sometimes adapting to the new situation is hard because we're learning a new routine and having to abandon the one that we've Exactly. Already had. And that when the change really happens, I rem you reminded me, Einstein said, mm -hmm. you cannot solve a problem at the, same, at the same level of consciousness that it was created. Oh, okay. So That's good. if I'm in this situation, I, can, mm -hmm. I cannot stay or, or remain in that fishbowl. I have to get myself out of it so I can solve and see the situation differently and I can take take the new step that I need to take to make the situation better. Is that what you refer to as damage control? Yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And we have to prepare for that, you know, especially right now if people are going through a lot of changes. And right now yeah. the the culture is not the same of what it used to be. Right. You know, that's, we, that's true. another show. Right. <laughs> you know, and then, you know, to kind of wrap things up here, um, I really like this quote. Um, that you talked about in the lesson, a uh, crisis is change trying to take place. It kind of reminds me of my tragedy that leads to the cure thing. And, uh -huh. and, and it is true. We have to look at it in a positive way that change is usually going to help us. Exactly. Just go with it and try to make the best of it. And one of the things with, with uh, embracing change, Laura, is that allow you to stay younger by embracing instead of fighting change because what and what? You need to learn how to text. That's a thing to, you know, right, right. for people over, four, you know, what, 50, 60, yeah. you have to learn to text, you have to, you know, all this new technology that we have. And then what happens is it, could, it uh, stimulates your yes, brain. Yes, new brain. Yeah, your brain yes. grows. So, you yes. know, if we have to look at it from the positive way. So yeah. that way you have a healthy life that you feel energized, you feel mm -hmm. feeling great and powerful. Absolutely. You know, I have a funny little story. Um, I'll try to be quick. It involves my, my two cats, and they're older cats. They're both close to 20, which is ancient for cats. Uh -huh. And I brought a new puppy in the house, and every one of my moms, like, oh, those poor cats are going to be terrorized by the puppy. But 
they have actually been revigorated because of it. Yes. Because they're they're claiming their territory. I put up this little um, gate for that so the dog wouldn't eat their food. So they got to learn how to go around to get through. And they're learning. And, and you know how they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. False. That is false because false. I I taught an old cat a new yes. trick. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. That is false. You know why? Because as we age and as we get older, the brain uh, develops a new uh, skill or ability that is called it's called plasticity. Mm -hmm. I get so excited about this because it's my spring. Yes. It's plasticity. So mm -hmm. yes, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Or an old cat. Uh, okay, we're talking about cat. cat. I have a story about cats. I'm so glad we don't have to rush here. <laughs> there is an old cat and a, a, a young cat. Mm -hmm. So the, the little kitty is, how do you say kitty? Kitten. 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 Kitty. Kitty. Either. Okay. The little kitten is chasing and chasing and chasing his tail. He's playing. So the old cat comes around and said, what the heck are you doing? And the little kitten said, well, I went to cat philosophy school <laughs> and I learned that a cat needs to be happy. And the happiness is located in the tip of your tail. So I discover that if I chase it and chase it and chase it until I grab it, I will be forever happy. <laughs> <laughs> the old cat said, well, I haven't been to cat philosophy school. I've been wandering around the alleys all my life. But just like you, I discover that a cat needs to be happy and happiness is located in the tip of your tail. But the difference between you and I is that if I go about my business and I do the things that are important to me, it will follow after me wherever I go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so here we are. we are here ending with a cat story. Yes, a little cat philosophy in our lesson today. Absolutely. This is, don't you think that's awesome? Now, if you have stories about cats or about <laughs> aging or some of your tips about staying younger and looking great and feeling energized, please send it to us. Yes. Check the email, send your uh, text us call us, whatever you have all the information right there probably in the screen. So please Yes, we love those emails. Keep them coming. Yes, questions. We're here to help you. Tune yes. in, tell your friends, tell everybody about Dr. Josefina's way and Laura. Yes. Got rich chat with me. Okay? So, baby, thank you so much. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you for watching. See you next week.